Hi friends, I'm Jenica Hill and welcome back to my channel which is all about embracing and celebrating your full magical self. Because you my friend are magical, you really are. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're new, just to introduce myself, my name is Jenica, as I said, and I came out as bisexual at the age of 30. Came out to myself around the age 27, but I was already married to a cis straight man who is the love of my life. It was a very complicated journey, so I decided to start making some videos about that, also about self-love, because I think the two are very intertwined. And I am now pregnant, so I talk a little bit about pregnancy too. It's kind of just a bunch of topics that are related to self. So welcome. In that vein, today I want to talk about the power of rest. This topic has been coming up so much for me in my life, and when something comes up for me a lot during the week, I think, you know, maybe I need to make a video about it. And what a perfect place to make a video about rest than my mom's garden. I'm here at home in Boise, Idaho, and my mom has worked so hard on this garden. I will show you how beautiful it is because it definitely deserves some airtime. And I love resting among nature, so I figured I would film a video out here today. There are some kids playing in the pool in our neighbor's yard, so you might hear them, but oh well. <laughs> in this video, I'll be talking about rest specifically related to struggling with sexuality and identity and coming out and figuring out who you are as a person because that is a big topic of my channel and that is the topic that I get the most messages about on Facebook, Instagram, as comments under videos. And I know there are so many folks out there who are struggling with this question of how do I identify? What's my sexuality? Who am I? What do I want, right? And that's a really important question to be asking. If you're not asking that question, this still applies to a problem you're having in your personal life or at work or a big question that you're asking about yourself, even if it has nothing to do with sexuality. But I want to address sexuality because I've been there and I know how painful it can be. And I think that rest can be a really great solution at times to this problem. So let's get into it. First of all, if you are someone who is struggling with the question, am I bisexual? Am I fill in the blank? I don't know. Should I trust myself and the feelings that I'm having? Maybe you're having certain feelings for the first time and you're not sure if it means you need to start labeling yourself a certain way or identifying a certain way. Maybe you're struggling with your gender identity. Maybe you're struggling with identity in general. How do I want to show up in the world? Who do I talk to about this? If I have already figured out that I am bisexual or something else, who should I come out to? Should I come out at all? These are questions that I know I had and I know a lot of other people have. So I hear you, I see you, and the pain that you feel surrounding these questions is completely valid. I know that those questions can take up so much brain space that you feel like you almost can't even function in your life regularly anymore because it's always on your mind. Maybe you don't know how to be around friends and family anymore because you just feel like this is taking over your entire body. Maybe you can't focus on work. Maybe you aren't getting sleep. It can be really painful and it can be really hard to deal with the idea that your entire identity might be shifting. So I totally understand how that feels and if you're going through it, I'm sending you a big hug right now and letting you know that I'm here for you and I, I feel you. Now, rest has been coming up a lot for me. I was listening to the Mother the Mother podcast, which I've talked about before. McLean McGowan is the host. I'll link to it below. It's a lot about motherhood, but she talks about just like being a human and spirituality and things like that. And this week when my partner and I were road tripping here, 
I was listening to an episode and she pulled out, I think, an angel card about rest. And then rest came up in my horoscope, I'm a cancer, this week. And it was specifically talking about resting with something that you're struggling with and allowing the rest to do the work. So I want to talk about that today because I actually think it can be really, really important. Because some people have reached out to me saying, I have no idea what to do, and the more I think about it, the harder it gets, and it's painful, and I have no answer to my question. And that's completely valid, and those types of questions about identity and who am I cannot be answered in a day or a week, a month, sometimes even a year. It just depends, right? Sometimes even five years. And I know that can sound extremely frustrating, and I certainly hope it doesn't take five years. But you have to be patient with yourself because there's a lot of internalized homophobia a lot of times. There's a lot of expectations that we put on ourselves that have been put on us by society, by family, by religion, what have you. And it takes a long time to unpack all of that. So this week, I invite you to think about rest and try resting with your question. And that could mean maybe you don't think about it for a little while. Maybe you allow your brain to take a break and to focus on something else. Maybe you read a really good book or you watch a show and they have nothing to do with sexuality or the question that you're struggling with right now. Maybe you take more walks. Maybe you talk to a friend about something completely different. Maybe you take more naps but let yourself rest on it instead of trying to muscle through figuring it out because I think especially in Western culture, right? We try to muscle through our problems. We try to force answers. We want to produce results. And sometimes we can't right away. Sometimes it takes resting with something for a while and letting it really settle in for us to figure out the answer. And maybe that doesn't resonate with you this week. It really resonated with me with some things I've been questioning and thinking about in terms of just how I wanna show up. So give it a shot. Try some rest and even just meditate on the word rest if you want. What does that mean to you? And how could rest help you? You might be surprised that when you take a while to rest, the answer to your question will come. And maybe not the answer right away, but maybe your next step. And sometimes the next step is all you need. Quick qualification on that. This does not mean escape your problems or run from your problems or avoid ever answering this question because obviously it's so important to figure this out and it's so important to accept yourself and love yourself for who you are. And that process should never end might never end, and maybe that's life. <laughs> but just try to take a rest this week, if you want, if that resonates, and see how you feel. That's all I have. I know I'm going to be resting with some things this week, so I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't, and comment below if you have any thoughts on this, or if you try it and it works for you or it doesn't feel free to comment later on the video or hit me up on instagram i love you and i'm here for you and i appreciate everyone watching and i hope you have a wonderful beautiful restful week a butterfly <laughs> that's a sign if i've ever seen one i'm just in that mode today so <sighs> deep breaths and thank you so much. As always, go out and be your full magical self today because the world needs you just as you are, even when you're resting. <laughs>